welcome to Gemstone Tarot, Friday 31st, last day of May, oh my god. Not the last day for our fairy doors though, is it? No, keep checking the community tab, there's going to be more to come. Okay, so Moon, still in, well, very much in Pisces, very much in Pisces. Valentine is joining us, she's just had, she just had second wash. So we've had initial wash, big sleep, and then a greeting. And then she just suddenly had to um, do it again. Really, didn't you, sweetheart? So yesterday as well, and I must say this, and I'm going to find the book as well. Ugh, I've just got back from playing tennis with the same ladies that I left on the court about a week ago. Do you remember when I was um, just languishing around and they were like, we're here on court one. So they allowed me to play with them again and we played today, we played in the wind. I don't know if any of you are tennis players, but we're talking Windy Miller. I mean, it was, and it took us an hour and a half to play one set. And I literally feel like I've just been buffeted that I'm through a wind tunnel. I can hardly stretch my mouth because I'm so kind of windburned, even though I wore like a peaked cap, sunglasses. I've run out of SPF though, that's probably why. So I'm kind of, I'm a, I'm a bit blasted. I'm a bit blasted, everybody. Um, I want to talk about a comment, someone, just a lovely comment. Okay. Let's have a looky see. Gosh, where do I find it? So this is from Rowdy Bliss. Rowdy Bliss, you do a lot of good comments. I love reading my comments. I adore Cockney rhyming slang. I had a lover from Ramsgate. I love that, even in itself. I mean, that is the beginning of a novel. I had a lover from Ramsgate, whose favourite pet name for me was Me Old China, which is M-E and then O-L with an apostrophe and China. Me Old China, innit? That's a little bit how London people, London people might talk. Used in a sentence, Oi, Rowdy, me old China, feel like I ain't seen you in years. Give a kiss. I love that. China equals China plate equals mate. We've long since moved on from that relationship, but we are still friends and we still call each other me old China. Thanks as ever for the reading. Oh my God. See, this is why I do it. I love this. And then Michelle Penning, it's quite the opposite, but I get this. I'm from America. The first five minutes of this, I don't think I recognised a single saying, including what you said you were wearing, a jumper. Isn't that weird? Like, because I think, is it a sweater in America? I think it is. How small the difference is, but how big the difference is at the same time. Fascinating. I find it fascinating. Let me just close, oh God, I'm not going to stand up too much because I've got a tennis skirt on. So honestly, that's all you're seeing because my legs, oh God, I've got winter legs, you know, when you haven't had your legs out, I mean, for a long time and they're not white, they're actually blue. My legs are blue. I'm wearing blue and my legs are blue. Okay. Mm -mm. I might go back to a bit of Cockney rhyming slang, actually, if I can find it. Here it is. Adam and Eve it is believe it. A la mode is code. Apples and pears is stairs. April fool is a tool. Bag of sand. Bag of sand is £1,000. Never knew that one. Oh, it's a grand. Yes. Oh, yes. Barry McGuigan, Biggin, acting like you're very cocky or something. Eh, don't come the Barry McGuigan with me, darling. That would be an example of that. Bins, spectacles. Bird lime, doing time in prison. Blue brick is Nick, which is the police station. Bottle stopper is Copper, which is police officer. Chalk farm which is a stop on the tube, London Underground, arm. Custard and jelly is the telly. I love this deep sea diver. That's a fiver, five quid. 
Dog and Bone is the phone. This is my favourite. This was in Viz as well. My Emma Freud's, which means what you get when you sit on cold walls too long. Oh, my Emma Freud's. That used to be in Viz magazine. Did anybody else read Viz? God, I loved Viz magazine. Frog and Toad, Road, Grasshopper, Copper. Gregory Peck, Neck. Let's have a butcher's. Have a look. Him indoors, husband, plates of meat, feet. Oh, I love this. I suppose is your nose. That's a bit obscure, isn't it? Jack Jones alone. Jam jar is car. Jimmy Riddle to urinate. There you go. Now, I'm opening up the floor to you. Let me know your pet names. So this can be optional. It can be pet names for your lover like Rowdy Bliss, or it can be pet names for your pet. I once did a community post, which, oh, it was about two years ago now, and it was all the names I call Valentine, like Val, Valentina Bob, Valley Bobs, all sorts, goes on and on and on. And then other people put, like, the multiple names they have for their dogs and cats and stuff. So any of that, welcome. I want to know your pet names for either your pets or for your people. Now, what cards am I going to use? Mm. I think I might have to get the groovy cards out again and hope that it's um, not too much TNA going on. Got quite a got quite a Bobby Dyslag going on up here. So the sun's out, um, and we might get a few like schwing, schwing. Okay, nice. I'll hold them up in a minute. See if we can get some, ooh. So these are Groovy Rider Weight by tarotcollectibles.com. Who've just, they're just debuting a new deck on Instagram, so do check them out. It's James at Tarot Collectibles on Instagram. I think that's their Instagram. I'm terrible at saying Instagram, because I'm terrible at Instagram, basically. Gosh. Okay. Just look at the packet. Can I even show you this? Does that can you see? Oh you can. Look at the look at the box. How could you not love that? I love it. So this is a different one. This is Groovy Weight Stars Edition. Um, I don't even know what the other one is then. Groovy Weight Something Else Edition. There's a glitter edition as well, but honestly, the stars one, look at it. Look at that. All the cards do this. So there's tarotcollectibles.com. And go over and say hello from me to James, if I can find his Instagram. There it is. Look, this is, this is clever. That's his Instagram. James underscore tarot underscore collectibles. As he's making his new decks and stuff, he puts little pictures up as he's going along. I know. Right. So I'll drop in now, you know, while we're all happy and everything that we've got the devil as our overall card and I can't get the glitter to work on it hey ho right we've got the devil which means there is some toxic pull or there is some kind of just difficult energy it's not terrible because we also have justice as the first card as well I don't really understand <coughs> or maybe I do but don't want to use the word too much about karma i'm quite careful how we talk about karma but there's some kind of karmic thing going on and when it's the devil it's like a karmic deficit and then when it's justice things are being rebalanced so in this rebalance you've got the hermit which is you spending time alone and for some reason that came to me in french and no i'm not bilingual tout sol tout sol there you go jan tout sol alone probably saying that wrong so time to go within and do a bit of soul searching as to what the imbalance is and how you can kind of work with the energy to correct it seven of cups is like a warning card i can see the glitter on this one oh, when i show you it goes away right hang on how about that you have to have the right kind of light or the sun shining on it 
because I can see it down here. God, but it's even more exciting that it goes invisible sometimes, isn't it? Okay, seven of cups, magical thinking, quite easy to do when your karma is out of whack, okay? But watch out for it, because we also have the five of swords, Venus and Aquarius. Somebody might just be playing on your fears a little bit, yanking your chain a little bit, okay? And the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups says, go with your gut, go with your intuition about this. Karma and intuition very closely tied and also your greatest weapon in the particular situation you might find yourself in. That made sense. I'm going to go and eat some food now. And the boy's back for a few days, so might go and say hello to the boy. See you soon. Namaste.